Australia's best-selling electric cars in 2023 are dominated by, of course, two car brands. You all know who they are, but here are the numbers. Here are the numbers showing the pretty spectacular rise of the car company that everyone said would lose market share this year. Well, not everyone. You probably didn't, but everyone else did. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking, and it's a great day to see you because oh, I feel like every day is a great day. Every day is a freaking amazing day. We're just seeing sales, sales, sales. We're seeing the media be proven wrong, wrong, wrong. And we're seeing electric cars dominate like never before. I mean, market share in Australia has more than doubled in a year, more than doubled. All we need is a few more of these more than doublings. In fact, when you see the numbers, you'll see it's quite a bit more than doubled. In the first quarter of this year, EV market share has increased in Australia from 2.6% which was abysmal, to 6.5%. Now, there's an EV Facebook group for Aussies on Facebook somewhere. I see it pop up. The reason being because I'm a member of it. People seem to trash. They seem to trash Tesla quite a lot. I don't really get it. I mean, guys, 6.5% market share. And without Tesla, that would be what? Well, we'll see in a minute what it would be. It would be abysmal. Now, the kings of market share in Australia, well, they're all from China, including Tesla. Pretty much all EVs dominating market share in Australia come from China. BYD, MG, Polestar, Volvo, yeah, Tesla, and even some of the other brands as well. Soon, we'll have Aura with the good cat. Soon, we'll have the MG4 and a range of other EVs which you may or may not know about yet. Other BYD electric cars coming. We've got the Aeon cars coming. Cherry are bringing their EVs as well. Yeah, there's a whole lot more. China will own the Australian car market by the end of the decade. Toyota, bye-bye, that's what I think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Japanese, well, they've seen their heyday. I think that we've already seen peak Japan in Australia. Put it that way, EV sales, by state. New South Wales are leading the way with 6,400 sales. They have 7.6% market share. Queensland, 3,900 with 6.5%. Victoria, come on Victorians, what's going on? 3,621, 5.3% market share. By the way, I'm from Victoria, that's why I say that. Western Australia, 1,524 with 5.5% market share. That's a decent number considering their population. ACT, 839, 18.9% market share. Australian Capital Territory, 19% of all cars sold there are fully electric. Now, if you told that to, um, I don't know, lots of Aussies, they'd have a mental breakdown. They'd say, what, one in five cars in the ACT are fully electric? No, 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 that can't be right. That's just ruining the weekends. That's just, that's going to be the death of Australians. That's the way a lot of Australians still think, believe it or not. It sounds hyperbolic, but it's actually true. Tasmania, 295, 6.5% market share. That's pretty good. And the Northern Territory, 43 with 2% market share. Now, no one really lives in the Northern Territory. There's literally hundreds of thousands of crocodiles there. So if you go there, then good luck coming back because you probably get eaten by a crocodile. So anyhow, Tesla alone controls 60% of the market here in Australia so far this year. That's with the Model 3 and the Y sales being its biggest selling vehicles. By the way, Tesla has just reduced its prices in Australia pretty significantly for some cars, $4,000 for quite a few models. Uh, you don't know about that, you should check it out. I'll put a link in the description to my video about the prices, about those price reductions. And why now? Uh, it's a lot more compelling to get a Tesla vehicle. Model 3 is the best selling passenger car in Australia. Not EV, not anything, just Passenger car, period, which is surprising because Australians just hate sedans. They don't buy them, except Model 3s. They stopped buying the Toyota Camry to buy Tesla Model 3s instead. Seriously. Now, it is beating the Hyundai i30, the MG3, the Toyota Corolla, which used to be the most popular cars in Australia. The Model Y is the most popular mid-sized SUV, priced above $70,000. But now you can get it for around... 67, 68,000 with incentives around 64,000. However, it is dominating the Volvo XC60 and the BMW X3 and every other car in that category. It's got a big lead. 
BYD is doing very, very well. It's top, sold 2,100 Addo 3s over the first quarter of the year, meaning it's come third on model charts ahead of its rival Chinese manufacturer, the MG. They have the MG ZS EV, but they're about to reveal, well, not reveal, they're about to sell the MG4 in Australia. We know the pricing now. I'll put a link in the description, by the way, to my comparison video comparing the Great Wall Motors Aura, the Aura Good Cat, with the MG4. By the way, they're exactly the same price to the exact dollar figure, almost exactly the same battery chemistry, almost exactly the same size battery pack. I mean, could it be any more exact? In fact, exterior dimensions are almost exactly the same as well. Which one should you get? Well, they're both worth looking at. So check out my video on that one. And the bizarre thing is, Mercedes. Mercedes say stuff like, oh, we have so many, so many models, right? In Europe, Mercedes have all these models of EVs, but they never ever show up in the top 20 sales charts. It's really strange. And Mercedes actually say it's really easy to produce EVs. They're pretty similar to gasoline powered vehicles. They're like the only car company saying that. I don't know if that's actually true. I don't think it is. But anyway, Mercedes have seven EVs for sale in Australia, seven different models, not seven in total, but seven different models. They've got the EQA, the EQB, the EQC, the EQE, the EQS, the Evito, and the EQV. Now, good on them for offering choice. They're all pretty damn expensive though, so probably out of reach for the average person. Tesla Model 3, 7,238 sales. Incredibly, more than double sales of the Tesla Model Y. That will change by the end of the year. By the end of the year, unquestionably, the Model Y will take first place and leapfrog the Model 3. BYD Addo 3 is in third with 2,100 sales. Then fair way back is the MG ZS made in China with 916 cars. By the way, all of these cars are made in China so far. Volvo XC40 also made in China, 827 sales. Polestar 2 also made in China, 548. Hyundai Ioniq 5 not made in China with 288. BMW iX made in China, 255 sales. Hyundai Kona not made in China, 237. By the way, the new version of the Kona, it just poops all over the old version. The old version is a stinker. The new version is unreal. I mean, you should absolutely consider the new version, depending on what the price is. We don't really know that yet. So I'll put a link in the description to my video about the new Kona and why I think it's worth your time, worth looking at. What else here is good? Well, as you can see, the Kia EV6, only 159 sales in the first three months of the year. That's the World Car of the Year, World Electric Car of the Year, World Car of the Year. It just won another award within the last two days. It won the World Performance Car of the Year. I mean, it's winning everything, but it's not selling. Why? Because Kia don't seem to be making all that many. It's actually a compliance car, unfortunately. That's what it turns out. It's rad. I love it. So it's sort of sad to see. I've made a video about that too. I'll put a link in the description. There you go, my friends. There are the EV dominators of the market in Australia. Love to see this stuff. You know, the EV market in Australia is probably going to go at a faster pace than a lot of other countries because why? We're right near China. China is about to dump its EVs onto Australia. Why? Because it's making a loss on them. 2,000 car dealerships out of business, bankrupt last year. Seriously. In fact, it's nearly 2,500. I mean, no one is making any money in China right now. There's bleeding all over the place. The Chinese market is just going to hell. And they're all saying, what are we doing? What are we doing? Just to sell them in Australia, we can make a profit. They can, and they will. They're coming. And frankly, we've already seen peak Japan, like I said. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.